do a video, a, basically a crash course on fingerstyle guitar. And this is not how to play classical guitar fingerstyle. That's a whole different, different thing. If you want to go that route, you got to take lessons, you got to read books, you got to practice a lot. This is for someone who plays with a pick or just started playing guitar. They want to learn how to play Blackbird or Dust in the Wind or something. Just the basic idea, the basic kind of fingerstyle thing so you don't get too much information. And also I don't want you watching a YouTube video of someone just getting a bad sound and showing you there's so much bad information out there. This is basically just a quick crash course um, so you can get started doing it the right way and not develop any bad habits. Because I've done a lot of this stuff and I've, after teaching over the years, I've realized that the same things I see wrong with people. So the first thing you want to do is take your right hand, because we're playing with our fingers now, we're not using a pick, and just keep it super relaxed, just hanging by the side like that. Almost like, like you're sleeping, you know? What's the least amount of muscles you can use? That's where you want to start with it. Now, pick it up and put it on the strings. However relaxed that is, the more relaxed the better. You don't want to be gripping it, you're not ready to go like that. You've got to stay relaxed. It will make the playing easier, you can play faster, cleaner, play all day without being hurt and all that stuff. You know, if you ever watch some of the best guitar players and piano players, violinists, whatever, you'll see they're not really working that hard. That's the trick to it. The other thing you want to make sure you do is have your hand positioned like this. You don't want it like this. A lot of people do this. Um, and I see why, because it's a comfortable hand position to rest down right there. But, and I know a lot of great players that do it, they get away with it for other reasons. The reason I don't want you to do this is because this ends up happening. When you pluck the strings, your nail plucks the string and you're not getting the sound. It's not. You also get a lot of these, which is really cool for country guitar. But you don't want that all the time. You want to be able to do that here and there. I think the good way to start is just like this. So you want the thumb, you want your hand kind of like that. That's extreme version of it. Not like this. You don't want the fingers going this way, you want the fingers going that way. And your thumb, that's getting a little blurry, should be in front of the fingers, not behind them like that. You see what I mean? So, the other key to getting a, the right sound on the guitar, patterns, with the uh, different patterns you're doing, is um, you don't want to start from nowhere. So in other words, if you're plucking the low E with your thumb, you don't want to be doing these big motions. To practice that, just plant, press, plant, pull off, plant, pull off. Kind of like if you were going to knock something over, like suppose you were going to knock, I don't know, a trash can over or something. This is the trash can, you're going to kick it with your foot. You could either kick it like that, or you could put your foot on it and press. That's what we're doing with our fingers. You're putting it on and pressing. Put, press. Call it, call, some people call it pushing the string. It's like, and the reason that's really awesome, even when you're playing really fast, you're still kind of doing that. See how little my hand is moving when I play? stuff. The key is you want to do that. You don't want to be... It makes it harder. You're going to get tired. It's going to be more difficult. It's going to take way more hours of practice. And in the end, you could have just gotten the song quicker doing it the easy way. So every single finger plant like that. Here's a great exercise to start doing. Um, and then we'll stop there. So you're gonna go just play a good old cowboy C chord. We all know that chord. If you don't know that chord, just Google C, basic C guitar chord, and you'll figure out how to play it. I'm not gonna explain how to do a C chord in this video. And um, here's a great pattern to just get started that's really, really popular. Pluck the thumb on the A string like that. Remember, plant and play, plant and play. And then the first finger, the index finger, plucks the G string. Same thing, I'm already planted. My fingers are already sitting there going thumb. And then the thumb plants and plays the D string. So we have thumb, index, thumb. Then the middle.
middle finger plays the B string, plant and play. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Do that two times. This is a really popular song. I won't tell you what, because I'll probably get sued. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of popular songs, actually. Start doing that. Do it nice and slow and evenly. You can, if you get a metronome, here I'll fire one up. You want to do it with the metronome. Super slow. Let's put the metronome on. What's a good tempo? I love 80. It's a good practice tempo. With every click. get good at that, speed it up. You can either speed up the metronome or you can do two notes per click. So da 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 That's a great progression to start practicing it on. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. And then the next chord, second finger, second fret of the A string, and pinky on the third fret of the B string. Do that two times. It's really a G chord, but you're just missing the other, you're missing these two top two strings. The next chord is A minor seven. The easiest way to get that is just play a C chord and then take off your third finger. And then go back to the last one. Every once in a while you can pop out. complicated stuff. Start doing all sorts of different patterns. Check out classical music, Tariega, Giuliani exercises, 120 st studies of the right hand, all that wonderful stuff. But this will give you the basic crash course how to play fingerstyle the right way. Have a good time.